I have wanted to try out one of these fruit dessert makers ever since the Yonana one came out. And quite honestly, even though I've wanted to try one really bad, um, I've never wanted to pay the $50 to try it because a lot of times in our house we buy these novelty uh, food items and we end up never using them after one or two times. However, I was given a chance to try this one out at a discount in order to test it out and to share it with other people if it works good. And for overall, I do like it. So I'm going to show you this morning exactly how this works. It can be bought on Amazon, and I will post the um, the link down in the comment section of this. It's fairly easy to use. Um, you just you put your fruit in it, and it makes it into the frozen frozen fruit dessert. Obviously, it's only going to taste like uh, frozen mashed fruit unless you do other things with it. You can leave it the frozen mashed fruit, or you can do other things, which I'm going to show you today. Today, I'm actually going to make a banana split uh, frozen dessert. So what I have here is I have my frozen pineapple, my frozen bananas, and my frozen strawberries. I pre-cut all my fruit and then I put them in one cup baggie so I know exactly how much I have. Obviously I'm not going to use all of this because it would make three cups and really I don't need three cups of frozen fruit. And then the other thing I'm going to do is for my people who love Shakeology is I'm going to add some chocolate Shakeology protein powder to it. That's going to help give it the chocolate flavor that you would have in a banana split. And then I'm actually going to add some of the Nestle mini morsels on top of it. So let me get the camera set up here so you can all see what I'm doing. And that should be good right there. Now you have to put it together when you get it. So you'll have this piece here. You have the blade. You have the part where the food comes out. And then you have the plunger here. Okay, so in order to put these together, you just slide this piece in here. Um, the top of it goes on this way, and then you turn it. You gotta put it together, and then you turn it to make it straight. This piece will slide in here. It does have little knobs, it's kind of hard to see, but it does have little knobs right in here where it will line up with the little pieces that are sticking out on here. So you just gotta kind of have to see them to line them up, push them in, and then turn it. Now it's straight. And then I do have my little glass bowl here for my fruit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with probably some bananas. <clears throat> now let's take and put a couple, or turn it on. Make sure it's running, okay. Put a couple pieces of bananas in there. And then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the Shakeology stuff. I should have got a spoon for this. Let me grab a spoon really quick because it'll be much easier with a spoon to do this. So I'll grab a spoon, put a little bit of my Shakeology in there, just a tiny bit. Get my pineapple, put a couple pieces of my pineapple. Now I will say you want your, fr or your fruit cut up a little bit small um, or it won't go through. They do say to take your fruit out for about five minutes. Mine has been sitting for about five minutes. But strawberries will stay frozen, a lot more frozen than other, any other fruits for a while. So I always try to find the small ones first that are going to fit in here easily. So you just fill this up. I should have put a little bit more chocolate in there, but that's okay. We'll, whoops. I'll add a little bit more right here at the top. And I threw one strawberry on the floor, so we'll just leave that one there for a minute and throw it away when we're done. <clears throat> so then your plunger, as you can see has a shape to it, and that will match the shape of this. So you just line your plunger up here, turn it on.
Okay, and as you can see, it stopped pushing through. That means I have a piece of fruit stuck in there somewhere. And I have seen that strawberries do tend to get stuck in here a little bit more than other fruits. But um, I'll dig those out here in a few minutes. You just have to unscrew this here, take everything apart, and get your fruit out of the chute. Um, I would definitely rec recommend chopping your strawberries up smaller than this, as that's more of when they tend to get stuck in there. Um, and then what you can do for this one here, my banana split one, I'm just going to take and sprinkle a couple of chocolate chips on top of it. And now you have a homemade banana split frozen yogurt made out of all fresh fruit and Shakeology. There's no sugar other than the few chocolate chips I threw on top of it. So this is a much healthier snack for the kids when they come home from school. And again, if I can open this up, you can see some of the fruit in here. There's more fruit puree on here. But up here somewhere, there's probably a strawberry stuck. I found that the frozen strawberries get stuck more than any other fruit. Uh, most fruits, your pineapples, your bananas, they're a lot softer. Now you can use um, frozen yogurt with this as well. But in order to use the yogurt to make an actual frozen yogurt, you do need to freeze the yogurt first. And I'll show you what I did. I did it with both yogurt and pumpkin. Although I will say the pumpkin has tasted kind of nasty when I've done it, so I haven't really done it. But I just buy an ice cube tray like this, and I put my yogurt in these trays, and then I'll just pop one cube out. And when I'm making my dessert, I'll, you know, cut a cube in half or put a whole cube in there and then just stir it up in my bowl once it's all done. But there's so many possibilities that you can do with this machine and my kids love it they love coming home from school and making their fresh homemade ice cream so i would definitely recommend this for anybody who is changing to a healthier lifestyle um my shakeology users who want to make fresh uh sorbet for their families because that really comes out more like a sorbet or a gelato if you want to add sugar you can add sugar to it uh, my personal recommendation was I really wouldn't put it in the way I did the Shakeology because if you've seen it first, the powder from the Shakeology was coming out before anything else. What I would do is I would take my frozen fruit and shake it in like a baggie or something of sugar so the sugar gets coated on the frozen fruit and then use the sugar coated frozen fruit if you want to give it a flavor. You can use milk in it, but again that milk or the coconut milk or almond milk needs to be frozen first. You cannot put any liquids in this is they will just pour out. They won't mix up at all. So you do have to use frozen milk or powdered milk, whichever one you want to do. And then um, do not use ice in it. You cannot use it to make ices at all. It specifically says right now on thing, do not use ice, and I'm sure ice would be way too hard for it. But as you can see from the package here, there's all kinds of fruits you can use. Berries, uh, blueberries, oranges. I have not tried those yet. Bananas, kiwis. <clears throat> what we did is we bought a bunch of fruit from the store, Cut it all up, throw it in the one cup baggies, and when we're ready to make our dessert, we just have to pull out one cup. Um, if you like this product, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you're looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend this product. It does work good for the money. It does seem to be about the same price as the Yonanas, but either one of them, or there's many other ones out there, are all good.